birds and the bees. Animals do it, insects do it, people do it, but why? Sexuality is a lot more complicated than just the survival of the fittest, and now a new book is tackling the history and evolution of sex. In How Sex Works, Dr. Sharon Moallen takes us inside the bedroom and across numerous studies looking at sexual attraction and how sex has evolved over the years, and Dr. Moallen joins us this morning. Good to have you here. Thanks for having this me. Is, uh, this is fascinating. Um, let's start with tall, dark, and handsome. Sure. So this is really great. This is a, kind of like a cross-cultural preference. So you look at different people across the world, and women tend to prefer men who have darker skin pigment. And for years, scientists couldn't understand why, but now they're kind of getting, getting to the conclusion that it has to do with something called folic acid or folate, a vitamin. Okay. So men who have darker skin protect their folic acid from the sun, and that results in higher sperm counts and healthier sperm. You're kidding me. Not at all. That's so interesting. I know what I love about this book is you're going cross-cultural. You're looking at right. all the ties that bind us together, right. regardless of, of, of where we are. Now, scent, you talk about a Swiss study involving men who were asked to wear T-shirts for two days and then women judged on attractiveness? Right. So this was followed up by some studies in the UK. And what they actually found was that women who, before they start the birth control, when after they start the, the pill, they're actually, the men, the sense that they find attractive changes, it shifts. They, they then get attracted to men who have scents that are more similar genetically to their own. Okay. And th this makes sense because women who are on the pill, their body thinks that they're pregnant. And then they prefer men who are more closely related to them to be around kin. So what, what, what people are starting to think right now is that when women go on the pill, they actually might be attracted to the wrong man for a long-term relationship. So some people are actually recommending that maybe women should seek a different form of birth control pill, go to their doctor if they're looking for a long-term relationship. Wow. Okay. Um, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty phenomenal. I mean, there's, I'm sure a lot of people watching now are going, whoa. Um, okay. Uh, moving on. Um, every one of these I could do a half an hour on, but we're going to jump sure. around because there's just so much in the book. The, the similarity between men and honeybees? Right. So um, honeybees, male honeybees are disposable. They have sex once, their penis breaks off, and it stays in the, in the female, in the, in the queen. The next male comes on. You can't on. say that lightly, by the way. <laughs> You know, right, without grabbing a certain part of your body. Well, not necessarily <laughs> grabbing, but, you know, right. certainly maybe crossing legs. Go ahead. Right, so actually, and, and, um, and the next male becomes, kind of unscrews that penis, throws it away, and inserts his own. And men can actually fracture their penis as well. And, and when you're in the emergency room, you see this once in a while, where men come in and unfortunately have fractured their penis. That was on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, where to go from here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says delicately, cross-cultural cross preference for hourglass-shaped women. This is another interesting one that's, that's similar to the uh, women looking for a Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. It seems, it seems that men actually are maybe biologically inclined to, to look for women with that hourglass shape. And it turns out that women with hourglass shapes, and this is still controversial, may give birth to babies with higher levels of I, uh, higher IQ levels. And uh -huh. it's thought that certain fats that are stored in the hips can then help the fetus develop a brain. And, a, and, a, and then eventually the connections that could lead to higher levels of IQ. Will you come back for a week sure. to the show? <laughs> Why this not? This is fascinating. Okay, thank you so much. It's great to meet you. And the this book, of great. course, How Sex Works. You can get it, I'm sure, in a bookstore. There it is.